United Methodist Church are helping not only to feed their classmates, they're also learning a lesson in healthy eating at the same time. Meteorologist Tara Hastings joins us to explain. Tara. Well, it's a hands-on project where kids are supposed to get dirty. The life lessons they're learning along the way make this garden continue to grow beyond the summer months. From a distance, it looks like just another playground. But get up close. Behind this white fence, you'll see it's growing. One ripe strawberry. Instead of playing in here, eight-year-old Emily Dernbaugh has been working in the garden all summer long. The fruits of her labor haven't been going to her kitchen table. Where's the food going? To children who need food and can't afford food. Now, how does that make you feel? Good. Centerville United Methodist Church's youth ministry created this garden to serve kids who receive free or reduced lunch during the school year. They wanted to give kids fresh vegetables like green beans and tomatoes during the summer. The whole goal of this was to have them get their hands dirty and actually learn how to grow food for themselves and hopefully to share that desire to grow food and share with others. Here's a ripe tomato. Picking tomatoes and digging through the green beans, trying to find the ones that are ready, can be a difficult task to some. But to Emily, it's fun. She found more tomatoes and couldn't wait to show us. I got six, six tomatoes. The enthusiasm has spilled over into the congregation. Adults did the brunt of the hard work in the beginning, then they let the kids and Mother Nature take over. I'm, ha I'm really happy. I think the weather's been great, but I'm more happy for the kids um, that they got to see uh, some benefit and, and uh, from what they, what they planted in the early spring. What have you been learning from all of this? To share food. So far, the garden has been able to help about 10 to 15 families in the church. The kids' garden has also encouraged other members to bring in their extra vegetables to give to the food program. I'm Tara Hastings, 2 News, working for you.